How many of you have thought about putting together some SMART goals for your college admissions process? SMART goals, remember? S, specific. M, measurable. A, affordable. R, realistic. And T, time bound. Those are the letters and the acronym that I would like to share with you today. So S usually means specific. That means that when you're setting up the goals for your college admissions process, they should be clear and simple. You know, college admissions can feel daunting. So you want to make sure that you're, you've got shorter goals that, you know, ultimately make up the larger goals. M stands for measurable. Any SMART goal has to have numbers so you can you know, understand when you've achieved the goal. You don't want it to be fuzzy and nebulous because you'll never know that you've completed it. You really want to have the numbers to help you get a sense of achievement for all of the little steps that you've completed. A, you know, most SMART goals, when you say A, it stands for achievable or uh, actionable, but for college admissions, I would say A stands for affordable right? That's so important to make sure that you uh, have a college list that has schools that honor your family's budget. This is, should not be a last minute consideration. So on uh, all of the, all of the, uh, you know, the three pillars, academic fit, social fit, and financial fit are important, but here it is academic, uh, sorry, affordable. R. R stands for realistic, right? Uh, the goals should uh, reflect your the students' actual abilities, their skills, their interests, um, as well as time constraints. You know, uh, sometimes you think, oh, I can apply to 20 schools, but realistically, is that possible? I mean, if you still have your AP classes and you've got extracurricular life, athletics, etc. I mean, some of these high school students are super, super busy and you don't want to compromise quality for quantity of applications. So keeping realistic check is super important when you're setting some goals. And T. T stands for time bound. When we set the different goals, we should have specific deadlines, uh, you know, smaller time, time frames, whether they are on a weekly basis or on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis. Make sure you have goals that are, are regular and, and they will keep you on track. Let me give you some examples of some SMART goals that I think are helpful for families. The first one is uh, say, select, um, I select 10 um, requirements for, uh, for your student. Um, and that could be some that are academic fit criteria, social fit criteria and financial fit criteria, right? Because those are really important for building your uh, best fit colleges. So say, um, identify 10 uh, academic, social and financial fit criteria for the best fit colleges list by April 30th, right? That would make it specific, right? Uh, measurable because it's got numbers in there, right? I said 10. Uh, 10, 10 different criteria. Um, achievable, hopefully this is achievable. If you start early enough, it's achievable. Uh, and real, um, sorry, affordable and realistic. Mm, and then time bound, because I said by April 30th. Another example of a SMART goal could be mm, Find four colleges and plan out an itinerary for a, a, uh, a campus, campus visits during spring break of senior year. Uh, so that would be before March, uh, before uh, April 15th of senior year, right? So you, that would be specific because you said four colleges, four college visits and 
you know, it would be within one trip. Sometimes students decide to go on college visits to check them out, say Southern California or the East Coast or uh, the Pacific Northwest. It's nice to visit a cluster of schools in one geographic region. If you plan it out in advance, I think it's really helpful. Uh, in, in this pandemic, maybe you have a different goal. Maybe you could say, I will visit I will visit, virtually visit, uh, four college campuses using virtual tours uh, from uh, College Real or some other uh, virtual tours from the different websites. Four colleges a week um, for the month of um, for the month of August. Right, that would be pretty cool. That would mean that you watch at least 16 videos and uh, and make a note of uh, the majors that you would apply to for each of those schools. Right, that would be very specific, measurable. In this case, they don't have affordable because it's free, but if you're going on actual trips, you would have to set a, a minimum budget perhaps, or keep track of the budgets, flights and hotels and things like that. And then realistic and time bound. Mm, another smart goal, maybe, maybe something like I will run net price calculator for 10 schools before May 31st, right? Something like that. Uh, net price calculators are a great way to figure out uh, how much a school might cost. If you don't know what they are, then you can check out my college knowledge webinars and get the inside scoop. But this is a, one example of a tool that can be very helpful in uh, helping families uh, identify whether a school is affordable or not. Okay, let's see. Another example of a SMART goal could be about essays. Let's say it's summertime and your senior is working on essays. They want to get started. You could say complete five brainstorming exercises uh, before June 30th, right? Mm, again, specific, measurable, affordable, if, if it's uh, relevant, realistic, and time-bound. These are SMART goals, and I think these days even I, my fifth grader knows what SMART goals are, but it's a great way to set goals that are going to be, you know, uh, help you in your college admissions journey. Hope that helps. If it does, uh, like the video and check my website, which is planeteducation.com and look for my webinars, Planet, uh, you know, called College Knowledge Webinars. I have a series on college exploration as well as college financial literacy. My goal is to uh, inspire, motivate, and educate students and their families on their college admissions journey. So I hope you can join me. Bye-bye.